welcome back. I'm Tedward, and in collaboration with the Bond Group, we've got another speedster. This one is a hot rod speedster. Let's start it up. From the outside, you've seen me drive a couple speedsters. This one is a 1958 Porsche Speedster. It's a 356A, and you can tell it's a little bit of a later production because we have different tail lights. This is a little more common. These are also my favorite Speedster seats because they're nice and low down, and they're very simple. They just roll, rock forward. They're on like a wood platform, and this one has been modified quite a bit. We've got a Will Hoyt 1800cc twin plug motor. I'll show you that in a minute. But also, this steering wheel, although not exactly correct to the period, it's a lot smaller than a typical Speedster steering wheel, so it makes it easier to kind of maneuver the car. So let's take a look under the hood because this is where the magic is. Now, a lot of people, they don't like the Speedster because they say, oh, that 1600, it's too slow. It's not fast enough. Well, guys, this is the hot rod Speedster answer to your prayers because you'll notice quite a few extra plugs here for a four cylinder. Two plugs per cylinder, 1800 cc, and it makes quite a bit of torque and power. And you know what? Let's just go out for a drive because it's the perfect day for a Speedster. Let's go have some fun. This one you'll also notice has kind of a funky bumper. I like this, but the exhaust actually comes through the bumper, which I, I, I have not seen this before. For people who are diehard Speedster fans are like, well, duh, it's a 58, but I don't know. We've got I guess an attempt at a seatbelt. Uh, we'll see how this goes. And it's gonna be a little windy with the top down. So toss on the earmuffs. Let's go for a drive. <laughs> Instantaneously. Instantaneously you notice the low end torque in this car. I think if you drove this right away, like if this was your first Speedster, you'd say, well, of course, that's a great little car. If you've driven other Speedsters with original engines, this feels like a hot rod. All right, we've been out for a little while. Oil temps have come up. This thing sounds fantastic. What a lot of grunt. You know, it's funny though, because like I said, we're still working with these drum brakes. <laughs> it's got a little more power than it has any business having. believe the sound this makes at wide open throttle. This is a phenomenal engine. It pulls really nice and linearly up to redline and it's just building and building. Check out the little beetle over here. It just builds and builds. Sorry, I get distracted like a, like a dog chasing a squirrel, but the beauty is that the low end is so usable. You still have this nice juicy torque all the way down. You can putt around town or you can scream like a race car. I don't think I've ever used the brakes so much in a Speedster though. Typically, it's like a momentum, I mean, it's still a momentum car. We're not gonna go that far, but typically you're like never getting up to a speed where you actually need to like bring yourself down from. I am blown away by how quick this little thing is. And I've been saying more and more, cars with low power, but high tactility and lightweight, I just find to be so much more intriguing and enjoyable to drive. Everything has power now. It's hard to find a car with less than 300 horsepower, I think, like an enthusiast car, at least. I mean, I guess we still have a GT86, but the reality is there's just so much out there that's fast and we don't need it. Not to say that this is some kind of bargain, it's certainly not. Um, can I go that way? Let's try this.
we go over the world's largest speed bump. We'll show you how practical these are. Woohoo! I know they want to save the children, but I mean, don't we want to also save our cars? If you hit the speed bump in most cars without noticing it was here, your car is gone. But this one's nice and short, so I can get those rear wheels up on it at the same time. <laughs> I'm gonna say, the Will Hoyt engine makes all the difference. This thing really chugs along. It's a lot easier to drive, even just from a, from, a, from a driving perspective, not even just to gain speed, but just to get in and move it around. You're not having to really open that throttle as much as you would in the other motor. I really need to get a convertible. I feel like, I feel like I'm missing out. Even my Carrera, my 911, you know, it's fun to put the sunroof open and the windows down and stuff, but you know, unless you have the top off the car completely removed, there's always this layer of like protection that, which I guess is good from a safety perspective, but from a fun perspective, it's much more fun to be topless. I gotta say, I didn't know, I didn't know these could be such hot rods. In a normal speedster, we'd be climbing this hill, but I'd be kind of, you know, asking for a lot from the motor. I'm, I'm poodling along, but if we really want to get into it, she climbs right through the revs like nothing. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful sound. I'm not sure slow car fast applies to this one. This one's actually pretty quick. This is, this is way more than I expected. I mean, I was told, I was told I would enjoy it. Uh, I didn't realize, I didn't realize. It's just incredible how much it pulls. What I can't believe is that I'm finding myself driving this as if it's like a high power muscle car. Like I'm giving myself space, I'm rolling into it to feel the power. It's fun. Guys, if you get a chance to drive like a Hot Rod 356, you gotta do it. You have to drive these little Wilhite engines. I am blown away. This is, this is incredible. A, a Beetle, this is not. No one could ever ride along in this car and make a Beetle joke to you, that's for certain. All right, well, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my drive in the Speedster and bring it home. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Special thanks to the Patreon supporters for making this content possible. And of course, for the Bond Group for providing yet another rare and outrageous opportunity for spirited, healthy, safe driving. <laughs> Don't forget to respect the drive. I'll see you in the next one. 
I'm gonna wait for this guy because I don't really want to get all that dust in my face. Please don't do it. I love engines, but man, do I hate two-stroke leaf blowers. Perfect car for a little town. 